Memories Long ago, we would make a fire, sit on straw mats, and shoo the mosquitoes away. We would get bitten on our legs, and the itchiness would last late into the night. We would go on scratching the mosquito bites the next day, to which our legs would become swollen and end up sore at night. Such were the ceaselessly agonizing nights in the countryside. There were nights when we went to bed without putting up the mosquito nets. Those nights were so hot they made us shudder. Such was the story of life then. Such was my life back then. Listen, all of you. We live as human beings, but we are different from humans because we, my wife and I, live completely absent of ourselves. I hope that all of you will follow our example and live absent of yourselves too. Though I may look like a human being just like you, I am different from you because I live absent of my mind, because I live with no plans, no will, no yesterday, and no tomorrow. I am at my leisure singing a tune. I hope that all of you will live singing about life, having nothing and doing. What do I mean by doing? This doing is none other than the life you live absent of self. My younger brother laying near the newly constructed road trying to avoid the mosquitoes and the heat, the neighbor who was crying because of some sad circumstance. Such memories are all in my heart. But because I no longer exist, such stories no longer exist. I have long since forgotten them. One has thoughts because one is human, but those thoughts do not exist. I simply exist as I am, which is why I feel the meaninglessness of time. In my non-existent mind, I recall the days of then I was in dire poverty. The thoughts of these recollections bring me to contemplation. After having found my original self, such things I recall from time to time are nothing more than life. They are merely human life.